Good morning and welcome to the day of Tanya. Today is Monday, the seventh day of Nisan. Let's begin with Sadaka Gedela. Sadaka Shemakarevis Esakula. Sadaka brings Mashiach closer. And we continue in chapter 40, where the Alter Rebbe talks about the Kavana, praying, doing mitzvahs, with the, with the feelings, with love and fear of Hashem, how this elevates our acts, our Torah and our mitzvahs to the higher spiritual levels, and therefore it brings about more godly revelation that gives us all the blessings. And as we spoke yesterday, it can also has the power of sweetening judgment, because ultimately Hashem is the the all good, and everything that happens is from the good God. And sometimes it comes in concealment, and we need to reveal the the ultimate truth. And that is done when we reach to higher levels, the inner levels of Hashem. And we at Alter Rebbe continues here to explain that this is why, as we mentioned, that the love and fear of Hashem are referred to as the wings, just like the wings of a bird. In order to fly, it needs to have the wings. The same thing is our deeds with love and fear of Hashem. The love and fear are, are referred to as the wings. And, um, and Al-Tareb also explains how this is, um, it refers to also the angels that they are also con- called as birds that with with wings and we'll explain how all this is in the kabbalistic terms how this is related to the love and the fear of hashem so let's see inside what al says in chapter in the middle of chapter 40. this explains clearly why Fear and love are figuratively called wings. As it is written, and with two wings he flies. So this is a verse that talks about the angels, the verse in Isaiah. And the two wings he flies, this refers to the two middays, the two emotions of love, and fear that this gets the angel to fly up. I'm sorry, Kamoshe Kosav, Arav Chaim Vital, Zechon Levacha, Rabbi Chaim Vital, of blessed memory, wrote Beshara Yechudim Perik Yudalef, Shak Nafaim, Beoif, and Zroyes Odom Bechulu. So it's Rabbi Chaim Vital, who was a student of the Arizal, of blessed memory. He stated in Shar HaYechudim, chapter 11, that wings are for a bird, what arms are for a man. Just as it is written, Chesed, corresponding to love, is the right arm, and Gevura, fear, is the left arm. Similarly, the wings represent these two middas, these two emotions. Continues Alter Rebbe and says, we find also in the Zoya, so here the Alter Rebbe just quotes a number of sources that compare the love and fear to the two wings. So, again, so he brings another quote from the, Zoh, the Zohar, the Tikkun Zohar. It says like this, The Tikkun Zohar Pirshu, Sh'oiskim yatiru mitzvahs b'dechilu rechimu nikroim banim, so it's explains in the Kunizaya that those who engaged in Taira and mitzvahs out of fear and love, they are called children. Otherwise, if the Torah and mitzvahs lack the fear and love of God, they are called fledling, fledglings. The little cheeks birds who cannot fly. This, the Zohar says, it's based on the verse in the Torah, it says, regarding the, you know, the mitzvah from Shiluah HaKen, when you see the bird, 
sitting in its nest, with the eggs or the or the or the frochim. So the Torah says that the frochim, the fled, fledglings. So the Torah says lesika chayim al abanim. So the Torah says vaheim rivetzas alei frochim. The mother is crouching over the fledglings, the chicks. It says, and then it says, do not take the mother with the sons, with the children. So we see how those little uh, birds, the little chicks, the little fledglings, they're, they're referred to as both fledglings and sons. So the Zoya says that this depends on the ability to fly. If they are able to fly, they're called the banim. If they're not able to fly, they're called the freichen, that they cannot fly. Now, on this note, the Alter Rebbe elaborates on the correspondence of wings to fear and love. So he quotes the Kunezeya, where the subject is treated extensively. And now here in this, again, it gets a little Kabbalistic. That it, and Tikkun Ezeya talks about that the bird refers to the angel called Matat or Matatron, the archangel. And that angel Matatron represents the world of Yetzirah. As we learned earlier, the world of Yetzirah, the world of emotions. Where in the world of emotions, the world of Yetzirah is related to the Mishnah. The teaching of the Mishnah is the teachings of the law, what is okay, what is right, what is not, which is in a way like the emotions. They have a positive emotion, a negative emotion, and so on. Says, so continues Alta Rabbi here. In the Tikkun 45, it is written, that the figure of a bird represents the archangel Matatron. Now this Matatron, this angel Matatron, it says his, his name, his, the angel is also compared to his master. His master, which is Hashem. Now the angel also has the body, the shape of the body, the spiritual body, the body of, just like a human body, corresponds to the name of Hashem. The same thing here. This angel also represents the four letter names of God, the Yud, the He, and the Vav, and the He. So he says as follows, Reshe delay Yud, Vegufa Vav, Utringatfin, He, He, Chul. The head of the letter, the head, is the letter Yud of the divine name Yud Kei Vav Kei. The Yud representing Chachma. His body is the Vav, the six meters. Why is the body Vav? The six meters, the Vav is, uh, the letter Vav represent, uh, is a numerical value, has a numerical value of six, which represents the six emotive attributes. And when we're saying that the body is Vav, it means the body is the main part of this entity, of this angel. So in this level of Yitzira, the level of this Malach, this angel, Matatron, the main thing is the Midas, the emotion, the emotive attributes. That is why he calls it the Gufa, the main part, the body is the, six, the Vav, the six Midas. And these two wings, are the two letters Hey and Hey, representing Bina and Malchus respectively. So the I, the first Hey represents Bina, the understanding. Hey has the shape of the width and the length, which is the, the developing of the wisdom, understanding. And the latter A is Malchus, which is action. And this also, as the Alter Rebbe is going to explain, that uh, the hay and the hay, they are the roots of the emotions of love and fear. 
Tidmus Delta Rebbein says, This corresponds to the world of Yetzira, which is called Matatran. Thus, applying the various elements of the figure to the corresponding aspects in Yetzira, continues Delta Rebbein and says, we obtain that what? Uboy hein gufei aloche sheba mishnah. Vav, the body of Metatron, represents the body of the laws in the Mishnah. Since Mishnah is at the level of Yetzirah, as will soon be explained, or the body of the laws, meaning the actual rulings determine what is permi- determining what is, permit- what is permitted, what is forbidden, who is guilty and who is innocent, and the like, they are related to the Midas which are represented by the letter Vav, because we have the six middles, the six ad- emotive attributes. V'reisha delay in a meichin, of b'chines chokma b'na adas, she'im p'nim yisalochas v'seidim etamein. Now his head represents intelligence, the level of Chabad, which are the, in terms of, of the Mishnah, the inner depth and laws, their esoteric meaning and their reasons. So this is, we have the Yud and the Vav. Now the two He's represent the love and fear. Now the two wings denoting flight namely fear and love, they represent, respectively, the higher He, which is an illusion prevalent in the literature of the Kabbalah to love. And the lower He, alluding to the lower level fear, namely the yoke of heavenly kingdom, and the dread of God, similar to the dread of a king, when you realize that you have a king, you're going to follow the rules. This is why Malchus' kingdom, kingship, is represented in the in the Yira, the fear, the lower level fear. Now we have explained elsewhere, there is the higher level fear and the lower level fear. Here it says that the, the first hay, the higher hay, represents love. The second he, the lower he, represents fear. So that Rebbe, there is this is this kind of fear is the lower level fear is lower than, in in, in it's it's con- considered the lower level than love. But if when we're talking about the higher level of fear, that's something way beyond our understanding. Such fear is external and revealed and is therefore alluded, alluded to by the, letter, by the lower level I mean, the, of the divine name. The lower letter, level, uh, the lowest level of divine name, the letter He, the last He. The higher level fear, however, meaning awe, consisting of shame before God's greatness. This is of those hidden matters belonging to God, our Lord. It says, it says, uh, the ones that are revealed. It says, the hidden ones that belong to Hashem. And the, those that are revealed belongs to us, for us and our children. So this also, it can be read, Vehanigla is the Vav He. The Vav and the He is revealed to us. Vav He Nigla is Vehanigla is. The Vav and the He is something which is revealed to us. But the Yud and the He, the higher levels, those are beyond our understanding. And now the higher level fear 
is represented in the Yud of the name of Aye, of the name of Hashem, which is the higher level Chachma. This is on the level of the supernal wisdom alluded to by the Yud of the four letter uh, divine name, blessed be he, as it is written in Raya Mehimna, in the Zoya part called Raya Mehimna. So, yes, there's been a little bit Kabbalistic, and, uh, but of course, the bottom line is, the takeaway is, we understand that we do have wings, and we can fly, and we got to use them. The love and the fear of Hashem will help us soar up high and reach the higher levels and bring the greater levels, brachas, down here. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you. Bezat Hashem tomorrow. All the best.